not Ebola. <laughs> why Ebola? I'm just fascinated. I don't know why. <laughs> Actually, I do know why. Plague Inc. I was obsessed with that game for a while. And I... it gave me an interesting <laughs> perspective. <laughs> uh, I'm not familiar with Plague Inc. Is it... Uh, I, I get... Well, I'm, I'm semi-familiar with it. Apparently, you design a virus, and you, you try to... You are the virus. Oh, you, you are... To... You yeah. are the virus. And you're going to kill everybody. Everybody in the world. If you kill everybody in the world, you win. <laughs> How is that winning? <laughs> now there's no one to infect. Yeah, well, no one said viruses or whatever were intelligent. <laughs> <laughs> That raises a lot of question <laughs> about what it means to be a virus, I think. <laughs> I know I, I'm probably putting way more thought in this than I'm supposed to. <laughs> <laughs> I will choke in your Yeah, I, I thought... <coughs> oh, goodness. Yeah. Are you okay? I'm fine. I thought uh, Plague Inc. was... You, you play a, uh, a evil group of people that are trying to destroy the world. When I played You Are a Virus, you design yourself to be effective and kill everything. Huh. Before they either kill you, or you accidentally put yourself in a corner by killing too many people, and then your virus dies out. Hey folks, you are just now joining us in uh, in Casual <laughs> Truck. I'm Grimwit with, with me is Black Kitty, and we started in the middle of this conversation. <laughs> no, because I'm suddenly fascinated by this concept of you are the virus in Plague, Inc. It's awesome. <laughs> like, how... It's, it's just, if you kill everybody in the world, that seems self-defeating if you are the virus. It well, kind of is, but I guess you can go on to infect animals or something. They don't really touch on that. They just want all the humans dead. Why? I just... I can't get over this. What? But, but again, that that comes to, to mind. Like, why is that winning? Because? I, I don't understand why that's winning. And I think I'm lost. Oh my god, I actually got lost in this little area. Um... <laughs> <laughs> You have to think like the virus. The virus just wants to spread and take out as many as possible. Um, I'm it's stuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so, so very stuck. Did you get a, a gravel road again? <laughs> no, no, little, little bit worse. Uh, Quick Sam? I have locked myself in this sort of whoa 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 whoa. No, no, okay, we're good, we're good. I am in a um whoa, whoa, whoa. no 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 I'm gonna be cutting bit bits of this out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know this is gonna be cool. <laughs> I'm getting a crash course on uh, on controlling uh, a trailer while backing up. I did not ask for this, but I don't have a choice no longer. <laughs> Can I? Can I pull out like that? That's what I want to do. I just need to miss this. Yes, I can. And am I safe now? I'm safe now. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I just... You'll see it. You'll see it when I upload. But I got stuck mm. in in a dead end and the only way out was to back up but if you know anything about trucks you know that backing up in a 
tr truck with a trailer is not an easy thing to do. <laughs> so, okay, well, the original question today was going to be, <laughs> is is life or is is art alive? But now I'm I'm curious as to like, <laughs> like what is the point to killing humanity? Oh no! Oh no! Don't, don't go back! Don't go backwards! Don't go back! No! 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 <clears throat> I'm stuck again. I'm pressing on the gas and it's going backwards. So that happened. Could your truck be possessed? No, it's just... I, I don't know how... Jesus Christ, why am I having so much trouble with this goddamn truck today? <laughs> don't know. Okay, let's try pulling to the left. Oh my god, I... What is up with this? Why am I having so much trouble with this? I've never had this much trouble. Just getting out of a quarry. <laughs> like, I... <laughs> you won't believe this. Oh, and suddenly frame rate drops like a rock. Because I guess now Fraps is stuck too. My truck, which has 700 horsepower, has not enough... Doesn't have enough power to go forward. <laughs> so how are you? Cause I'm stuck in a truck. <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> Simple automatic. That will no longer do. I need this to be a real automatic and I need to be, a to be able to shift up and down gears. Let's give this a try. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh shit, oh shit. <laughs> no. no, 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 no. I just jackknifed. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> okay, so that didn't work. <laughs> I can't fucking believe this. How how heavy is this goddamn thing? Truck, come on, you can do it, truck. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Come on. Do it. Do it. Do it. Yeah. You do it. Oh, you're getting out. You're getting out. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. <laughs> there. Yay! I'm free. I'm fucking free. <laughs> Oh, no wonder I'm free. I just left my trailer behind. <laughs> <laughs> so today's going to be an unusual day in Casual Truck, because here's what I'm going to do. Cancel current job. I'm terribly sorry. I, I know I'll have to pay a penalty. I can't move your stuff out of your quarry. <laughs> <laughs> um <laughs> So Yep <laughs> I'm just gonna drive <laughs> and and we'll talk, I guess. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> That's never happened before. I've never come across cargo so heavy that my truck couldn't handle it. This is the... I think this is like the second most powerful truck. It's just not good enough. It's just not good enough. I'm so sorry about that. Um... <laughs> that's... <laughs> I don't... Hmm. Alright, well, uh... <laughs> I can't, can't quite get over that. So, I'll just drive for like 20 minutes and we'll fill time. <laughs> and I'll pretend like I have cargo. <laughs> so tell me about... <laughs> so tell me about Plague Inc. Okay, Plague Inc. It's not just viruses, by the way. Okay. But I don't remember the other ones. But you are this biological means of spreading diseases, or you are the T's. And you add on little features to be more effective. 
but you don't want to be too deadly at some points because if you're too deadly then you'll kill everybody off who's infected and then you can't infect anybody else but um that's my train of thought <laughs> that's, that's okay that's okay so the trick is to be just deadly enough to where you kill people but you also are able to infect as many people as possible mm-hmm but um, they have challenges too, like uh, kill them within a year, or whatever. Kill as many people as possible within a year. Yeah. Well, um, no, kill everybody in a year, <laughs> which is actually really hard to do. I have seen um, a partial let's play of it, and I could not really follow what was happening, so I didn't really pay that close attention to it. I realized what it is. But uh, not how it works or anything. But it brings to mind if you, mm-hmm. if you're an evil corporation, that kind of makes sense that you maybe want to kill off a lot of people for, uh, let's say you, you're part of a cult. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. So killing off people is part of cult for cult reasons. I can get behind that. Why not? Um, maybe. Cthulhu needs more dead bodies. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> but I don't understand it if you are a virus, because all a virus really wants to do is spread. Killing the host is kind of a, oh, well, that, that happened, you know, kind of thing. Well, in nature, yeah. But, I mean, this is a game. And it's also kind of... Um, do you remember Pandemic? Because it's kind of, I think, based on that one. Are oh, you talking about the game? No, there was a, a little online game called Pandemic. And it was the same thing, but what it was to illustrate is how viruses spread through the world. And how it, it wouldn't be that hard for, basically, humanity to be wiped out. Yeah. Huh. Um, I was not aware of that was a thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, several years ago. I, I don't know if it's still around. Um, no, I'm not. I'm not familiar with that. I, I realize it's just you know like for fun, even though it's <laughs> terribly, terribly morbid. Yeah. <laughs> uh, vi- viruses are one of those things that just freak me the hell out. How do you defend against it? You can't. Or you, you start doing these ironic things, like the best the best way to battle bacteria is to have bacteria. Good bacteria, bad bacteria. <laughs> I think uh, somebody told me... What was I? Mm-hmm. I was reading somewhere, and they said that it's best not to think of your body as something to eliminate bacteria from, but you gotta think of it more like a garden of bacteria. Mm-hmm. That's right. There's like uh, cultures of bacteria in your stomach that help you digest and things, I think. Yeah. Which, of course, the antibacterial soap I, I just kind of laugh at, because it's, it's basically, hey, want to kill off humanity faster and feel better doing it? <laughs> Let's go to Todd's to- Toad's T-O-D-Z. Actually, I'm not sure that's a T. That is not a normal looking T. What? <laughs> so I gotta go on this place and just follow it until it's done. I'm just, I'm making, I'm making a route. So that I can have some place to go without my thingy. Because <laughs> I failed at trailering. I can't believe that happened. Still, I can't believe that happened. But it does allow me to go very, very, very fast. And as always, do things like ignore traffic lights. Fuck you, traffic light. So, let's say you're a virus, right? Okay. Um, and there, I, 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 in in science class in high school, I started this huge debate with my teacher as to whether or not viruses were life. Because 
it spreads itself, but it doesn't really have anything. It's it's viruses are weird. They're they're not made of anything. They're more like little machines that crop out of nowhere and all they do is replicate themselves. They they have different effects, but they're not like bacteria. I would say bacteria is probably the simplest form of life. And bacteria also replicates itself, but it also has like strategies and DNA and things. Viruses just sort of happen. If I, if I remember my biology right. So I had this conversation with my teacher uh, asking what is life and like are viruses part of that. And this is like my early ex earliest example of trolling my teachers with deep philosophical questions. So it's not just casual truck. I do this to everybody. <laughs> um, I... Mm -hmm. The decision was that viruses, I think, they, I, I don't know what the scientific community decided nowadays, but viruses weren't life back when I was in high school. Okay. So, so what's the, uh, how, do, how do you win as a virus? I don't think they care about winning, honestly. First off, I mean, to win, you'd have to want. And um, I, I, I think that they're too simple for that. <laughs> no, that's fair. Uh, desire is part of winning. Kind of like mm -hmm. how I desired that trailer to go uphill. <laughs> and it didn't. <laughs> and I'm, I'm all sad because I lost. <laughs> but, um... Oh, what's the point? <laughs> Are they just like little pebbles of life? Because not maybe th th I'm, th I'm trying to think of it, and I can't think I can't think of anything that benefits from viruses. I mean, there there are bugs, there's bacteria that benefit from in, in a sort of weird symbiosis, like bats. Do you know the deal with bats? Bats are the most diseased mm -hmm. creatures in the world. They're so cute. They're they're adorable. God, don't go near them though. <laughs> they they carry tons of diseases, and it's kind of how they how they evolved. They have really really high temperatures. Mm -hmm. Like normal normally their body temperature is up in like I think 100 degrees uh, Fahrenheit, and they're the reason why diseases are so good lately of uh, resisting heats and fevers which makes diseases more deadly because diseases that grow up in bats grow up in really hot conditions. Normally, one of our body's defenses against diseases is to overheat our body in order to burn the disease out. But that doesn't happen now. Because of fucking... Fire. Yeah, because of fucking bats. <laughs> now, bats are cute and they're, they're so adorable, aren't they? God, God, please don't go near bats. <laughs> <laughs> but um, th there's purpose to it. I mean, animals generally don't go near bats because animals that go near bats die of disease. <laughs> it's it's turned into a kind of um, uh, symbiosis. Almost. Pretty pretty much. It, it kind of reminds me. Was it the was it the Jesuit women in Dune that? harbored every disease known to man in their body, they just kept it under control. <laughs> That's what it reminds me of, though. It's, bats are like that. They, they have every disease they can get a hold of, and they just keep it under control. These so are our little friends. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're super resistant to diseases, and they keep it as a form of defense. Like, don't fucking mess with bats or you will die. <laughs> where Ebola came from, I think. Actually. I believe it. I believe it. And I believe that, oh yeah, bats resistant against Ebola? Actually, yeah, I think I think I saw something on Minute Physics about that. That's what made me think about it. Well, okay, so bacteria. Beneficial. Can be beneficial. Can be beneficial. Can't kill you. Who knows? Uh, it can go either way. 
Uh, and there are, there are tons of them, and there are tons of different types. Awesome. What's the point of a virus? It goes in, it builds itself, and in, until you die. Or you get rid of it. <laughs> Population control? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know either, honestly. <laughs> I'm going to pronounce this place Toads. I don't know if that's correct, but uh, sure. We'll go with that. I think I'm in Slovakia? I don't know where I am. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hi. So do you like Plague Inc.? I love playing. It's fun. It's fun to be the virus and well, kill everyone. You can be a virus, a bacteria. Um, oh, I don't remember the other six or eight or whatever it is. But there's all sorts of different types of uh, means of killing humanity. And and it takes different strategies depending on which one you're using. Well, okay, um, <clears throat> let's see mm -hmm. here. You have to have ways to be contagious. Mm -hmm. You have to have ways to fight the mm -hmm. antibodies. Uh... So, so you also have to have a way to sort of baffle doctors, right? Yeah, they have that worked in there. So Not I so much the antibody part, though, I think. Well, it's, that's just a general part of being uh, a malady of any kind, isn't it? Because your human bodies, just bodies in general of animals, lizards, mammals, even some insects, they, they have a way of fighting these things. We, we kind of, yeah. yeah, life kind of grew up with, with diseases in mind. So. I just think this game more focuses on how to spread it. So, it doesn't worry too much about how to beat your immune system. With whips and chains. <laughs> Little bacteria with whips. <laughs> That's what, what is it, Fly Flaugia or whatever? That's what those little, those little noodly tendrils are. They're actually just little whips. Ah, <laughs> oh, <laughs> Sticks and stones may break my bones, but whips and chains excite me. <laughs> Trying to apply that at like a microscopic level. Uh, microscopic sure. level. <laughs> sure, whatever. You'll you'll never you'll never guess where I heard who, who I heard say that first. <laughs> Doctor Demento. Mom. Oh, well, that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was something for uh, Rocky Horror. I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, actually, I think it is. <laughs> well, mm -hmm. um, I found a spot to kind of hang out, and I think I've, I think I've embarrassed myself enough this episode. <laughs> and we got a good. Uh, <laughs> good conversation about life or something. <laughs> Your lack of... <laughs> or, or destroying all life or whatever. And I've also proven that although my truck is super powerful, mm -hmm. it has its limits. <clears throat> so, I'm just gonna shut off the engine and shut off the recording. <laughs> it's been about 20 minutes anyway. <laughs> Say Say good night, kitty. Good night. Meow. Goodbye, everyone. Hey, do you have Skype? Want to be on the show? Want to give me lots of coffee? Then shoot a message to natevil at gmail.com and include truck in the subject so I know it's from you. And thanks for watching.